welcome to Chelsea's Tarot Readings. So before we get into today's juicy video, um, I just wanted to say that there was a request for an LGBT um, video and I would love, love, love to do one. I just need to know like what kind of topic should I do? I need you guys to give me some suggestions because that's actually a really like way, a good way to celebrate it, especially on my channel. So anyways, drop your suggestions below. Um, so today's video is going to be 18 plus. <laughs> so all you who's younger than 18, get off this video. Sorry. Um, even though I know some of you won't. Um, and it's going to be who's craving you, um, why, and what's on their mind. So I, I kind of use two different decks. That way we can get um, a better glimpse into who this person is, obviously, by using my original deck and then obviously the more sexual deck. And for this pick a card, I did four different piles. This one was requested. I put um, kind of like two requested ones together, if that makes sense, just to make it interesting. And the piles are starting from the far left. So this is pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Also, hopefully this video will be a little more fun. I'm drinking right now. <laughs> don't worry i don't do t i don't like shuffle tarot and drink or like do actual readings and drink this is already pre-shuffled and yeah so this is gonna be awesome we'll get into it um and if this resonates definitely give a like subscribe and be a part of our family Pow thank one. you for watching so who is craving you um why what's on their mind let's let's figure out who this is so these three cards came out reversed this tells me this could definitely be someone from the past only because why is this it's just i don't know i feel like this is just a clear message it is someone from the past we have the gazelle so this tells me that this individual who's craving you is someone who has a very um how do you say vulnerable soul um I feel they could be very attractive looking. Um, I feel they're definitely more timid, more shy, especially when it comes to you. I feel as though they could have fire in their chart. The gazelle, uh, especially represented in this spirit animal deck, is actually fire. So the compliment we have is thinking about you lately. So this person has for sure been thinking about you. And I think obviously in more ways than one <laughs> um, so someone from the past this could be like um, earth air as well but this is definitely someone who feels like they missed an opportunity um, someone who maybe kept to themselves a lot with the hermit reversed and knight of swords um, hmm yeah, it could also be air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel as though, um, let me see, this is just someone who maybe, again, it's a missed opportunity, it's someone who is definitely, I get creative too, because we do have the page of cups, so this person is also very creative. Um, and then with the gazelle, I'm not surprised that the Page of Cups came out because, again, it is more of like a feminine energy. So even if it is like a male, which we do have males here, um, I feel it's definitely a male. <laughs> so let's see our 18 plus cards. <laughs> okay, so the Knave of Wands. So... I feel this person definitely thinks of you. They obviously have a lot of passion for you. And you notice, um, if you guys notice, like, he's so, like, relaxed. You know, he's not timid. He's not, like, ready to hit her over the head. You know, his hand's placed on his, you know, on his knife, but it's not like he's about, like, it's basically proving how relaxed he is in the moment, but that he trusts her. So I feel definitely this person, like, thinks of you a lot like especially could imagine you know you giving them head um the hanged 
the hanged woman talks about could be like a short a short-lived romance definitely this is like about a short-lived romance um and not knowing how many other suitors this person might have you know like i feel it like basically feeling like you might not be the only one it was short that kind of thing but again this person feels very comfortable with you um and obviously if you're a male just switch the roles um she feels very comfortable with you she feels comfortable you know doing that to you giving you head but then again a short-lived relationship Ten of Wands. So yeah, again, I get that, you know, there's a lot of ending cards. And I only say a lot just because, like, these aren't technically ending cards, but they're reversed. So, again, it shows me something from the past. And not all the times I take reversals as the past. I actually don't really ever do that. But, again, I got the feeling to, so I did. And then we also have the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, it was, um... I kind of want to get more of a reading on that card. Sorry. I kind of want to know. So it says uncertainty in managing the relationship, indiscretion, tiredness. So yeah, maybe um, this is just something that this person was maybe unable to carry a relationship at the twi time. Twine. <laughs> at the time, um, you know. I feel as though that's why that's coming up, because again, it could be that that being the reasoning. Um, they were just carrying a lot at once. Maybe they couldn't carry you as well, I guess. But either way, the 10 definitely represents like an ending. What the heck? Ew, what is that? Um, I'll get... Let's get one more. Where, where are they? Oh. Okay, what else? Let's see what else we can get. <laughs> Queen of Cups, that could be you, but <laughs> uh, either way, this per yeah, definitely wants you to s they they do see you as someone who is very, if you're the woman especially, someone who is very attractive, if you're the man, they obviously want to sit on your face, <laughs> yo, that's funny, um, but yeah, they definitely do find you very, very, very attractive, um, yeah. 69 too. Maybe they would love to 69 with you. Let me see what else we can get. Let me see if we can get something else for the Queen of Cups in this chalices in this deck. An affectionate lover exchanges sexual favors with a companion, recognizing a partner's right to orgasm. This pretty <laughs> This person definitely wants to pleasure you. Yeah, that's kind of definitely what I got with that card. But I feel you are kind of like that as well. You like to reciprocate that. So yeah, guys. Um, hopefully that gave you kind of an insight to who this is, who's craving you. Um, and I hope you like that reading. Definitely give a like, subscribe, and welcome to the fam. Bye who is guys. craving you, why, and what is on their mind? So... <laughs> For the spirit animal, so who they would relate with the most, to give you a hint, we have the oyster. So this is, I really love this one because this ha this one actually came up a couple times for me, but it's someone who's very humble, someone who is generous, um, and this is also kind of like water energy. Could be someone um, who has water in their chart, but definitely someone who is in touch with their emotions, someone who is patient. So then the compliment we have is, I think of you a lot. And y'all know what that means. I don't really got to tell you. <laughs> so it's funny because these cards all came out reversed. Um, and I feel as though, obviously, I was meant to. This was meant to be. So um, it seems as though this was someone, uh, definitely from the past, who broke your heart. But I feel as though it could have happened to them, too. Obviously, with the Wheel of Fortune, this is talking about a cycle coming to an end. So again, I feel as though it could have been someone that you were like in a cycle with. 
king of pentacles this also could be a earth sign as well but either way this man maybe had money um yeah but earth sign we got taurus virgo capricorn this person could have had like money as well though because again we have oyster uh, oyster we have water as well um but yeah some kind of heartache so this could be like this is definitely like someone significant and someone that you might have had more of like a um emotional relationship with not just like someone you know you know what i'm saying or someone you don't know i guess <laughs> we have what the what does that say five of pentacles what the hell why is he reading a book this ain't no book freaking deck we have the lovers <laughs> look what is he reading a book for we got two of wands okay so with the lovers card this is distinctly telling me that this is someone who definitely loves you this is someone who has a great sexual connection with you um yeah um also you know with the lovers card especially in this deck um is about really wanting to pleasure the other person and getting a lot of excitement out of it taking their time um definitely like having a real connection as well like i said it's a strong connection um also i feel this <laughs> This, this person maybe had some first experiences with you with the two of wands or first time. It could be someone who you had actually lost your virginity to um, or vice versa. But this person could also just be someone who's very reserved or shy around you as well. So maybe they were just some... And I, again, we have the oyster, so that doesn't surprise me that, you know, the shyness would come up. Um, also, this person, you know what, too? This person could have been very possessive. Because the Six of Pentacles... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm thinking it's the Five of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. So, um, they, again, I want to say they want to... They feel, like, abandoned because, as you guys even know, like, th I feel they, their feelings are in this a, a lot as well. So, this isn't just, like, sexual. Um... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very sexual. They definitely think of you a lot, but, you know, I feel as though this person's feelings are also in this. Because um, the Five of Pentacles, definitely even I thought, it's about someone being in their feels, especially having to do with a sexual tarot deck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't normally uh, see that. It also talks about maybe this person had an experience again they don't they don't have to and muddled decisions that's basically what the five of pentacles talks about but yeah so hopefully you guys uh know at least who that is so it's definitely gonna be someone who is shy i definitely got that right off the bat and we see that again here definitely someone though who likes to, would like to take their time to please you and um would have like a passionate connection with you as well so yeah, that was pile two, guys. I hope you liked that. Um, definitely give a like if you did and subscribe. Welcome to the family. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. So who is craving Bye. you? Why? And what are they thinking? <sighs> so <coughs> you guys may or may not laugh. I definitely laughed when I first... <laughs> when I first turned that card over, the compliment card, I really thought it said, you are broke. And I was like, it was like, yo, why would I rate that? Because mind you, this is uh, one of these decks that I did myself. Um, obviously, I sage it and everything, um, but I just thought it was the funniest thing. I really thought it said, you are broke. I was like, oh my God. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> so... This person sees you as someone definitely who has made an impact. They see you as someone who is brave. Because this is coming up as like a genuine compliment. So this is what this person thinks of you. So for the spirit animal, we do have horse. This tells me this person is actually, um, has a lot of 
energy. Um, they probably move around a lot. Um, they're fearless. Um, you know, not afraid of competition. That's the def that's definitely the energy I get from this person. Um, and as well, we do have for the regular tarot cards, we have seven of swords, page of wands, and three of wands. So this person could be someone who definitely is um, sneaky. Uh, you know, could be someone who's sneaky, conniving. Um, with the page of wands, the three of wands, again, this person definitely is watching you. Not to sound creepy, but obviously, like, you know, page of wands obviously tells me this is, could be more than likely a young fire sign, so Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this is more of how this person is. And again, with the three of wands related to the horse card, it is someone who um, has a lot of goals and, um, how do I say, like, sees a lot and by that I mean like they know that like there's more to life that kind of thing okay so what do we have here okay that's nice <laughs> so we have the five we got the five of spades the five of swords we got the dun -dun 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 -dun, seven of cups chalices why are they eating? <laughs> That's cute. That's funny. This one was reversed and the eight of swords reversed. Okay. Five of so okay, so five of swords. So what is this person like thinking? Okay, they definitely with the five of swords, I definitely see this as them wanting you on top of them. If you're the female, obviously. Vice versa, if you're the male. Um yeah, it could be like someone who you've had confrontations with because as you know, the Five of Swords, even in the regular tarot, is about confrontations. But maybe you guys have like good enough sex to overcome that because it's overturning a situation um, between two lovers. And then the Seven of Chalices is someone who... I feel as though, th again, this person could have emotions towards you because this one's about searching for, like, love and comfort. So, you know, I feel as though they could also want that from you. As weird as that sounds, I feel m when they imagine things, like, when they think of you in that way, they're also kind of thinking of, like, that comfort. Because, you know, too, with this, with this Seven of Cups in this deck especially, she looks very comfortable with him. He looks very comfortable with her. Um, it's about recovery of energy. So obviously when you're having sex, you know, you do that. Hmm. Definitely I kind of see with that too is um, anticipation as well. So anticipating, you know, what would happen. And then we also have the Eight of Swords reverse so this I feel since this is reversed um, the kind of thing I get from this is maybe this person lacks however I feel they would lack self-confidence maybe in the bedroom when it comes to you like so even though this person seems very level-headed and seems as though you know they have a lot going for them maybe they do have that kind of like insecurity because upright, um, it talks about self-confidence, and it reminds you the eight of pen Sorry, the eight of swords. Um, even in the original right away, is about like confidence. It is really about like having that kind of confidence, um, and it's also about not giving up. I just feel like this part again. It would be more like feeling insecure um, with you, but again, with the five of swords, like wanting that let's see where did i put it oh right here <laughs> let's get one more card yeah like certainly so like they're thinking that they definitely want that love and comfort from you Ooh, i like this one It's funny, we got three wands in both of the original and this deck. That is actually hilarious. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I feel like they they want to be bold with you, definitely. They do want to be bold with you. Like, if they could, like, if you're the woman, literally, if they could, they would shove their dick in your mouth. Not even lying about that. Like, they would want to do that. They would want to be aggressive with you. And, obvi- you know, obviously, if you're the man watching this, believe it or not, she would love to uh, do that to you. So it's like, it's, again, as you guys know, like, believe it or not, obviously, this is how fantasies are. So that's kind of what I get from that. So, yeah, guys, that was pile three. Um, I hope that resonated. I hope you kind of get an idea of who that is. Definitely someone who has a lot of fire. Someone definitely who is also very ambitious. We have two threes, so yeah so definitely give a like subscribe if you're not welcome to the family um and i'll see you guys in my next video so who is this person that is craving you we'll kind of get into why and what are they thinking so as to who this is we have the tiger representing the spirit animal so this is fire definitely the tiger is fire energy this could be, um, this is someone who is obviously very determined, sensual, definitely. Um, forceful, powerful, as like definitely a force to be reckoned with. And it could as well be feminine energy. Um, but again, this could be um, a male if you're a female. Because tigers are, obviously, they do have masculine traits to them. Um, this person also being very passionate. Also, this person comes off as strong, um, especially with their tiger being the spirit animal representing them. So this was an interesting compliment. So this is from my compliment deck. And again, these were like kind of channeled messages. So pretty random messages. But anyways, how I'm going to relate it to this and then I see the Ten of Swords here reversed. Okay, so yeah, there was an ending here. This is someone who you had an ending with for sure with the Ten of Swords being here. All these cards are reversed, so it's definitely a situation that is not balanced. And Four of Pentacles being reversed, this could be someone who is like very controlling or possessive from the past. Um, and I again, I do find it funny how there's these cards and then we have has to do with my insecurities. So this could actually be related to how they treated you. This could be related to how it ended. Um, a few things. So that's actually very interesting. I'm kind of glad I brought this uh, deck out again. I don't use I don't use it a lot, obviously, because it's not an actual deck, but um, it definitely has messages that I like to get out once in a while. So let's get into these. Okay, this is the Knave of Swords. <laughs> this is the Four of Wands. Okay. I love how there's like their, their penises. Oh, yeah. Oh, Diablo. Oh, man, that's sexy. Hold up. Sorry. My power save mode's on, guys. Okay. So we got the devil. Okay, wow. This person definitely, I gotta say, you know, they do seem controlling for sure with the devil card. They do wanna um, definitely possess you in more ways than one. Like, I said, I said possess you. <coughs> uh, uh, Knave of Swords as well, so this could be a, uh, someone who's like an air sign. Um, I definitely feel this person likes being dominated as well if it's a male. Um, if it's a female, she also loves being dominated and not dominated. Like they want to take action sometimes as well or want you to take action sometimes, should I say. The devil card, that is a lot of lust. Um, that definitely shows me this person. Um, if you know who this is already, if not, again, I'll, I'll probably pull a couple more regular tarot cards just to kind of get a better idea. But I do, for some reason, I pointed out that this could be an air sign as well, which is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, so there's that. Um, yeah you know it's about also letting go of the past and like just wanting to like 
get it all out. And again, um, they also, which is kind of like random when you think about it, but they do want this, oh my God, and it's so funny because this is such a sexual deck, but it's like this person does want peace and harmony because again, with the temperance being reversed, which is funny because I put this one on top of that card, with the temperance being reversed, it's showing me obviously um, an imbalance. So, you know, wanting, and then the four in tarot also means like a foundation and also being like a successful set foundation. So that's also important to realize. Um, let me pull a couple more cards. Oh, there's another wands. Ah, okay. This is all I'm getting, guys. So def again, someone who is wanting a new beginning. This is someone who's very passionate, takes on a lot of new things, very creative. Someone who left in the past. Um, there's an emphasis on that. And again, two of cups being reversed is definitely a soulmate from the past. That's just what all, that's all I'm getting. Again, I do see fire and there is air here. That's the strongness I'm getting from, you know, the elements. So that was pile four. Um, I hope that resonated. Uh, hopefully you have an idea of who that may be. If not, oh well. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this person will make themselves known, hopefully. Seems as though they will. They're craving you a bit. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, give a like. Uh, if you like that, definitely subscribe. And, uh, welcome to the new family. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.